Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a Pac-10 battle. The Sacramento State Hornets travel to take on the 6-2 Cal Poly Mustangs, looking to avenge their defeat from last week against the Northern Colorado Bears. That was a very shocking upset, and I feel really bad for the Hornets defense right now because I think Alexander Connor is going to come out firing because he is angry. But the Hornets, they've won two games this year, 2-6. and six. They beat Southeastern and Idaho State. So they have not beat a team with a winning record so far this year. They did almost beat Southern Utah. That was a 38-35 classic. And then UC Davis put up 63 points on them in one of the best offensive performances of the season for the Aggies. Of course, Northern Colorado beat them as well, 35-21. They lost to Portland State. And now here we are as they travel to take on the Cal Poly Mustangs. It should be a fun game. The Pac-10 is still up for grabs for the top five teams. San Diego, Cal Poly, Southern Utah, UC Davis, and Northern Colorado. It's going to be a crazy finish. We're here in week 11. So next week we have a few more Pac-10 matchups as well. So it's really going to shake it up even more. And I'm not even sure if that's possible, but we're going to find out. Cal Poly, I got winning this one big. I don't think Sacramento State has a chance at all. So I'll see you guys down on the field here in a moment. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Sacramento State Hornets and the Mustangs. These two Pac-10 teams are fired up and ready to go in this late season battle. And here come the Mustangs. The Mustangs are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. The home team has a big time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow out here. I agree with you on this one. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. Now that looks good on you, Lee. Anyway, let's set it down to the field. Everybody's got the Mustangs winning today, and they're on offense first. Connor, pressure, rolling out left side. It's, he's going to take off and have a first down or close to it. Nice slide to avoid contact. That'll bring up second down and one. Connor going to throw it. Right side, Lozano the third is wide open at the 40. At midfield, the other 40 taken down at the 37-yard line. That is Raul's 27th catch on the year, and he's closing in on 600 receiving yards. He is a great halfback trying to catch the football, and here he is again. Over 600 yards receiving now with six touchdowns on the season, and that leads the team. Definitely a great player at the halfback position. The Hornets go three and out, and we're going to see Alexander Connor sling it again here to Johnson, who's going to get it way up past midfield in the Hornet territory. Great run after the catch. First and ten. Play action. Connor throws off his back foot and connects with Malik Higgins somehow. That is his 31st catch on the year. He's now over 800 yards receiving. Connor going to roll out left side, takes off again past the 20, 15, 10, spins, and gets down at the five-yard line. Second down and goal. Raul Lozano, the third, punches it in. That was too easy. That's his 11th touchdown run on the year. And he is at over 900 yards rushing on the season as well. We finally see the Hornets on offense. And Joseph Lozano lays the thunderous hit on the halfback. Forces a fumble. And we have Paxton Erdley with his first career fumble recovery. What a massive hit. He's been doing this all season from that cornerback spot. That's his second forced fumble on the year. Vicious. Give him a shout out in the Discord. He's in there. Raul Lozano, what a spin move in the open field. Jukes inside the 10. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Oh my goodness. That play was insane. 12 touchdown runs on the season now after a 35 yard run. What a spin move on that defensive end. Then he jukes out the safety, accelerates, and finds. The end zone. Mustangs again back on offense. The Hornets continue to go three and out. And here is Desmond Lewis with a nice catch. His first of the day is 26th on the season. Second and 20 after a holding call. Connor rolling out. Just evades the defender. 
Throws it up to Johnson, and he's coming down with it at the 31-yard line. First down. Connor again going to throw it. And there's Malik Higgins. Nice diving effort for the reception. It's 32nd on the season. First and 10. Connor. Rolling out, takes off inside the 10-yard line, jukes the safety out. That was way too easy, and he is in for his ninth rushing touchdown on the season. Just an unbelievable athlete at the quarterback position. And here we see the Hornets again on offense. They finally get a nice first down here to Burke, the tight end. See if they can't string together some plays and get a nice drive going. Kemp gets a first down inside Mustang territory. Their second first down of the drive, second of the game, and Bell is sacked. And that, my friends, is Demarius Lamache. That's his seventh sack on the season. He leads the team. Third down. Bell stays in the pocket, and he's picked off by Adams. That's Devin Adams. He's going to return this up past the 30. And down inside the 25-yard line. Not a good throw from Bell. Head coach Raul Lozano pumped up on the sideline. His team is up big. 28-0 here in the second. Oh, Lozano the third. Carey breaks a tackle, and he is going to score for his third touchdown run of the half. He has four total touchdowns today. He now has 13 touchdown runs on the year. Bell, nice completion to Burke. He really had to stretch out for that one. First and 10 from the 47. Left side, caught by Cole, and a big hit for Ralph William. That's his 39th tackle of the year. Just four minutes left here in the first half. Nice cutback by Johnson. He's in the open field. Lozano can't get there, and that's a touchdown for the Hornets. That was a great cutback by Johnson. Such vision. Amazing. One of the better plays against this Mustang defense we've seen all year. And here we see the Mustangs offense again. Connor going to take off. There's nobody on the left side of the field, and he jukes and gets up to the 48-yard line, a 20-plus yard run. And Connor's going to take off again. Another first down carry. Slides down at the 36-yard line. He's over 500 rushing yards on the season now. Connor pressured. Rolling out left. Throws it deep to the end zone. And that's an easy touchdown for Robinson. That was way too easy. That is Connor's 23rd touchdown pass of the year now. And the Mustangs are up big. 42-7 over the Sacramento State Hornets. There was two receivers in the area. Only one defensive back this team is just fun to watch when they're on fire still two and a half minutes remaining here in the first half Bell takes a shot over the middle caught by Burke still going Ralph William the only one left to get him and he chases him down at the 33 yard line best play of the day for the Hornets but it's now fourth and ten Bell hit as he throws and it's dropped by the receiver that was Cole and the Mustangs get a stop 158 remaining in the first half. Connor rolling out left side. Takes a deep shot to Malik Higgins who comes down with it at the 32-yard line. First down, Mustangs. Connor will throw it again. Over the middle. Caught again by Malik Higgins. This time at the 5-yard line. Alexander Connor, 367 yards of offense today. Two touchdowns. Just such a great quarterback. And they're going to go play action here. Connor rolling out right side. Throws it to the end zone for Desmond Lewis for the score. And that's his third touchdown catch on the year. 24 touchdown passes now for Alexander Connor. 16 interceptions. Still in the first half. Bell right side is picked off again by Harris at the 35-yard line. And I expected the Mustangs to come out firing and they're just absolutely throttling the Hornets so far. And that was just a drop. It bounced right off the receiver's hands into the defender's hands. And another great takeaway. Connor's still in there slinging it to the end zone. And that's picked off. He overthrew him just a little bit. Nice spin move for Simmons. And he'll return it up to the 18-yard line. First mistake of the day for the Mustangs. Connor now with 17 interceptions on the year. That'll end the first half, 49-7. Mustangs on top of Sacramento State. 435 yards of offense in the first half for the Mustangs. Just over 160 for Sacramento State. Bell right side, caught by Kemp, and he'll have a first down up towards midfield at the 49-yard line of the Hornets. 
So the Mustangs being up so much, we're going to see Eric Spears in here at quarterback as well. And here's another sack that time. It was Demarius Lamache again, his second of the game, eighth on the season. There was a holding penalty. That'll be declined. That'll make it second and 17. Bell left side, and Lozano again with a monstrous hit, jarring the ball loose, causing an incomplete pass. He is just one of the best tackling corners in the country. Third down and 17. Bell. Pressured. Hit. And that is going to be caught and dropped again. Lozano punches the ball loose. What an athlete. Connor's still in there for now. He's going to take a shot left side. It's picked off again. He wanted Desmond Lewis. Instead, Johnson takes it away. And that is the last play we're going to see from Alexander Connor today. Don't need to throw any more picks with him. And here is a nice completion out to Burke for the first down after the face mask penalty. Third down and seven for the Hornets. Bell. All day towards the end zone. Overthrows his target, though. And that will bring up fourth down. They're going to send on the field goal unit for 41-yard attempt. And he could have made that one from 55, probably. So it's 49-10. to 10. Eric Spears Jr. in the game. We're going to see him sling it. And instead, he's going to roll out right side, has the first down and more. Runs over the cornerback. Oh, my goodness. He has great strength. Second down and 10. Spears going to throw it again. Mustangs are up big, but they got to get the backup quarterback some playing time. Nice completion out to Higgins. He's over 100 yards receiving now. Spears going to throw it again to the end zone. Left side caught by Johnson. That's his first career passing touchdown. And it comes in week 11. Uh, against the Sacramento State Hornets. Put that on the career highlight reel. And that was a great throw as well. Just a great touch pass where only his receiver could get it. Hornets go three and out. Mustangs back on offense. Eric Spears Jr. takes off again and tries to truck through the cornerback again. Gets taken down but has the first down. First and ten. Spears. Takes a deep shot right side, and he has his man. That's Desmond Lewis, and he is off to the races. And high steps for 25 yards for the score. His second touchdown catch of the day. That'll give him four on the season. He's over 500 receiving yards now. This receiving core is just nasty. And of course, you got Raul Lozano the third. He reminds me a lot of Marshall Falk. He has so many receiving yards this season, so many receptions. And he's closing in on 1,000 yards rushing as well. Nice pass out to Red. First down, breaks a couple tackles. Still going up to the 50-yard line. Poor tackle attempts for the Mustangs. Third down and six. Bell pressured immediately. Takes a shot, and that is completed out to Cole in double coverage. I don't know how he caught that. 63-10 to 10 is the score. Bell left side. Kemp has the catch. He fumbles a football, and it is touched by a Mustang. That was out of bounds. So it was... Almost was another takeaway. Fourth down and six, though, to the end zone. Deflected and caught, but that is incomplete. He never got a foot inbounds. So a nice stop for the Mustangs' defense. We're going to see the offense again. Spears, left side, caught by Desmond Lewis. Great catch in double coverage. First down at the 49-yard line. Lozano the third on a toss play. Right side, he has a great blocking. For Desmond Lewis and Lozano is gone. His fourth touchdown run of the game. Five touchdowns total. And that will get him over 1,000 yards rushing for his freshman year. Johnson absolutely destroyed. That was Paxton Erdley. Vicious hit. My goodness. Kind of reminded me of the Jadavian Clowney hit against Michigan. Mustangs back on offense. 70-10 to 10 is the score. Spears Jr. Going to take off. A lot of space in front of him past the 30. Taken down at the 43-yard line. He is so electric. It's really a shame that Connor beat him out in the spring game because it would have been fun to see him perform all season, but there's an interception thrown by him. Three turnovers now for the Mustangs. I'm not saying that it was a poor decision to have Connor start. Obviously, it wasn't. He was one of the best quarterbacks out of our 12 schools. But Eric Spears Jr. definitely deserves to start just with his skill set alone. Desmond Lewis, another catch for him today. Career game. Spears going to keep throwing it. And he's got Robinson wide open, who spins down to the six-yard line. 27 first downs today for Cal Poly. Second and goal, Eric Spears Jr. takes off. And he is in for the touchdown run. 
That is actually his second touchdown, or fifth touchdown run of the season, excuse me. Raul Lozano, the third player of the game, five touchdowns. Johnson, player of the game for the Hornets. 57 yards, one touchdown. 77 to 10 is the final. And I thought it was going to be a big blowout. Because I think, or I thought the Mustangs would play angry. And they did. They came back from that loss to Northern Colorado and they absolutely obliterated the Sacramento State Hornets as one of their players hugs their hopes of a winning season right there. A big time game from Raul Lozano the third. He's now over uh, 1,050 rushing yards on the season. 760 yards of offense today. 303 on the ground. 457 through the air. This Mustangs team is just so deadly. I feel bad for anybody that has to face them in the bowl season. They do throw a lot of picks, but they throw a lot of touchdowns too. 77-10, guys. Oh, my goodness. Eric Spears Jr. coming in there. Getting his first career touchdown pass today. Slinging it. They're just so impressive. I don't think it really matters who's at quarterback for them, honestly. Two touchdowns, one pick today for Eric Spears Jr. Four touchdown runs for Raul Lozano. The third, Alexander Connor had 90 yards on the ground. He now has 500 for the season. No fumbles today either, so that's that's good. Desmond Lewis, 136 yards. Malik Higgins, 119 yards. Career day for Desmond with two scores. The doubles his season total. Drew T on the beat, by the way. Hope you guys like that one. Gets me hype. Dan Williamson, 11 pancakes today. That'll give him 82 pancakes on the season with only one sack allowed. I'd like to take this time to remind you guys that if you're not in the Discord channel, please join us. If you want to have a pro career, or if you do not have a college career yet in this dynasty, get a player in the recruiting video that'll come out in the offseason and get on a team. And then you have a chance at having a Heisman season, perhaps, in your career. And being the number one draft pick in our all-new professional football league that we'll have coming out next next year. So I hope to see all of you guys in there. There will be a link in the comment section below or in the chat for this video as it is premiering live. And we also have the link on our channel art if you go on to our channel. Well, like I said, hope to see you guys all there. We have 55 members right now currently, I believe. Players of the game, Lozano, Connor, Spears, Johnson, Simmons, and Johnson. Hornets fall to 2-7 and seven on the year. Mustangs now 7-2. and two. Their next game, they will be hosting the Southern Utah Thunderbirds in a subscriber versus subscriber game in Week 12. That'll be a great game. Thunderbirds struggling on offense. Eastern Washington travels to UC Davis tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy, guys.